Tanya Parker, and I'm a product manager here at Code.org. Today I'm going to walk you through your new teacher homepage and how to navigate through the Code.org site. To view your teacher homepage, just sign into your teacher account using the sign-in button at the top right of any page. If you're already signed in, you can click the home link or the code logo at the top left. All of your most important resources are now available here. And if you're looking for more resources, just take a peek into this menu. Let's take a look at your teacher homepage. First, you'll see announcements. Here's where we'll share important updates like upcoming professional learning deadlines or new features that we just launched to the site. The next section are your most recent courses. You can see a course by clicking on, any, on this card right here. Let's say we click on course two. From this course overview page, you can click on any bubble and try the course yourself. You can view a lesson plan and prepare for your next class. Um, and if you want to see what this course looks like from a student's perspective, just open the teacher panel and toggle to see the student view. This can be particularly helpful if you want to share your screen and present to your class. Back on the teacher homepage. This shows just your two most recent courses, but if you want to see all of your courses or find a new course to teach, click View All Courses. Here on the Courses page, now you'll see a tile for all of your courses. These are courses you've tried or courses you've assigned to your sections. And finally, when you scroll down to the bottom, you can find a course. Here is Code.org's Pathway of Courses, and you can learn about each course by clicking the block here. Or you can browse our full catalog of courses from Code.org and third-party partners, all the way from elementary school through high school. Back on your teacher homepage, your next section is a table of all of your sections, or classrooms. These, this table gives you direct links for 1. Viewing your student's progress in the class, 2. Viewing the course that you assign to your section, or 3. Managing your students. Here you can add or remove students from your section, or even update their passwords. Finally, the bottom of your teacher homepage has a bunch of cool resources. In particular, I'd like to point out the teacher community. If you have a question about a lesson plan, or you made a cool activity to supplement our curriculum, please share it on our forum. Now scrolling back to the top, you can see that all these links are available here. View your courses, manage your sections, find professional learning. We've also added a new link for your project gallery. In your project gallery, you can see all of your projects, or you can view the public gallery, where we showcase student projects from around the world. There's one more thing I'd like to show you. If you're on a mobile device or on a level page like this, all your links are moved into this menu. If you have feedback, want to report a bug, or just have a question, all your links are available here. Remember, if you ever want to return to your teacher homepage, just click the code logo at the top left. Thanks for watching.